Hey everybody, Grandmaster Ben Feingold here with the video today. It'll be a short video um, because I'm giving a lesson in an hour and then I have another lesson after that and then I have to direct a tournament tonight and then I have three and a half hours of the Pro Chess League um, with David Proust, which you can watch on Twitch or uh, chess.com or both. Um, so I'll probably play four or five games and then I'll get out of here. Uh, let's see who's texting me. Uh, okay. That's who's texting me. Uh, you're going to win. You're not even challenging me. How are you going to win? Okay. So um, I don't know why I'm going to play today, but I'll play something. Um, let's see. Everybody's pretty low rated. Okay. There's Frank, even though his name's not Frank. Showed you. Okay. So I'm playing Nick. Um, thanks again for the donation for the Fisher video and for other donations. And um, let's play E4. I'll just try to play theory and see who knows more theory. Um, I don't know any theory, and he plays this line, but I used to play this. Um, okay, bishop c4. I've played it with black, but it's been a while. Okay, so far so good. I haven't blundered yet. Um, okay, sacrifice my c-pawn. Usually they don't take it. And then castle queen side. Queen D, it's pretty passive. I think they usually go to C7. Um, is this one of those positions I can play D5? Uh, might be. Is it good? Might be. Um, let's see. I could play Knight B6. All right, let's play it. I mean, I can legally play it. He's basically down two Tempe from a normal position because he's moved his queen three times and it hasn't really moved. So that's you know, not so good. Um, let's see. I guess I'll take and take with the bishop. And then, um, yeah, this doesn't really, yeah, Rick B, it's too passive. He has the open C file, so you shouldn't do that. Um, okay, bishop F4 looks pretty aggressive. Let's see. All right. Um, now my C pawn's hanging, so I can play knight D4 or bishop B3. Bishop B3 is safer. But knight d4 seems more the way I'm playing, you know, aggressive, and his king's on e8, so we'll do that. Um, I'm sort of defending and attacking. Um, I got to try to, like, get him quick before he castles. I think if he castles, he'll be okay. Okay, that's obviously not good. Take his bishop on f5. And then um, uh, now I can play either bishop d6 or bishop g5 or rook e1. Rook e1 looks like it's the best to me. And this should be winning. I have the two bishops. The b-pawn is hanging. His king's on e8. His bishop's pinned. His knight's sort of pinned. Um, so it should be good for me. Let's see. Almost all my friends are on. All right, cool. My son's on. And I'm playing um, Nick right now. And one of my students is on. So that's good. I wonder if he's watching. I can't really tell if he's watching. Let's see. I can move this down. Man, nobody's watching. Okay, h6. So bishop d6 should win. Um, bishop b7 should win. It's hard not to play bishop d6. I can try not to play it, but it's hard not to. So I guess I'll play it. And I'm sort of catching up on time, although I think a minute and a half is pretty good. Yeah, I was confused yesterday. I lost a 15-second game. And I remember when I had three or four seconds left, I, like, imagined that there was a delay or an increment so that I could just play infinitely. But obviously, in a 15-second game, you just lose on time. You just have to move instantly every move, and position sort of irrelevant. Yeah, I don't know why I thought with three or four seconds it didn't matter. And then I just lost on time. So that was silly. Okay, so bishop takes e7 wins and queen e7 wins. Um, I guess I'll take it with the queen. I'll just keep checking him. And then if he plays king f8, I have double check. Okay, he played king there to d8. Um, I could play bishop f7 or bishop uh, b7. To be honest, I don't see a big difference. Okay, this pretends to attack his rook, so I guess we'll do that. But it doesn't matter. So I want to retreat my bishop with checkmate, and he'd have to block with a knight, which is a temporary measure. Um, but yeah, okay, this is this is over. Um, the only question is, do I have a quicker mate? I don't see one, so... I'll go here, and then it's made in two moves. He can block with his rook and his knight. He might resign. 
So, okay, that was uh, reasonable. Okay, that's me. Let's rematch. That way he gets white a game. <laughs> See, if you guys donate, then you can play me chess all day too. Okay, g3, play e5. Um, let's see, d5, looks pretty good. I got 14 spectators. Not bad for the middle of the day. So we have a reversed Pierce. Um, I guess I'll just play solid and boring. Last game I played more interesting. Knight bd2 is a bit passive. A rookie one, you have to punish that. I mean, he wants to play e4, but he's preparing it too much. e4 is probably not a really good move, but... And if the guy's going to prepare e4 forever, I'm going to stop it. He's probably going to play knight g5, and then I'll sack a pawn. And when I say sack a pawn, I mean, I'm going to lose the pawn anyway. Now, now his knight's trapped, so I can just play g5. That's one of the negatives of knight bd2 is it, it blocks his bishop on c1. So your knight gets trapped on h4 in certain cases. Um, let's see. Do I want to trade queens or not? It doesn't really matter. So Actually, if I take, he'll play bishop h6. And then he could take with the other rook if we trade queens. So I guess I'll trade queens first. And then um, I might even take on e4 first. <laughs> because then my bishop defends my pawn on on h4. That does anyway, sort of indirectly. Although bishop g5 pins my knight, so I guess I don't want that. Okay. All right, so I'm up a piece for a pawn. And I could take this pawn or develop my pieces. I guess I'll take it. So he has one pawn for a piece, and I don't see anything else that's any counterplay or anything. So it should be a fairly easy win. Um, he attacked this pawn. So I'll do sort of a skewer, I guess. And then I'm going to get my bishop out soon. Okay, never play f3. Um, let's see. Bishop h3. Bishop d8, rook e7. I don't like anything. Um, I don't know. All right, bishop h3. We'll pretend I'm attacking. Pretending's fun. And I'll try to get my rook to g8 because that looks pretty awesome. Okay, he got afraid of that. Um, I don't want to trade bishops because that straightens his pawns out. Although my pawn's hanging. So. But okay, I'll still go here. That way my bishop's pretty good. That was like a drunken bishop there. So he has a nice time advantage, but with an extra piece, uh, I should put my GM title to good use, I hope. Okay, he took, I'll take, and if he tries to win my B-pawn, I can play this check. Now I have to be careful because all my pieces are hanging and defending each other, so he has some threats here. Um, I feel like I want to sack the exchange, but it's ridiculous. I just want to do it. Okay, but I won't. Um... Bishop e5 or b6? I don't know. Um, tough decision. Let's see. I want to keep my bishop. Let's go bishop f2. Because I want to keep my bishop. And then I can try to play rook g8 and mate. It's a crazy idea, but let's try it. Um, I'm giving a lot of pawns away during this. This pawn's hanging and i got to watch it. But I wanted to do it anyway. The technique's not good, but... What are you going to do? Attack this pawn. And it's hard to play my idea. Whoa. It's hard to play my king h8, rook g8, because he has bishop e5 check. So somehow I made being a piece up look exceedingly difficult to win. Not even sure I'm winning here anymore. But, uh, and my time's going down too. So good technique, Ben. Good job. Rook d2. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, e6, I guess. Yeah. Now my knight's pretty safe. Um, bishop e3. I still don't want to trade bishops. Okay, he's doubling up. So I could play here. And if he takes on f7, I have rook d1. Well, that seems like a good idea. I have 29 seconds. Wow. I put myself in a time situation here. Yeah, his king's pretty trapped. So I'm trying to get to the back rank. Uh, well, he takes my rook if I do that. Takes my rook if I do that. So I guess I'll do that. <laughs> now he has three pawns for a piece. And um, I'm not attacking this like I thought I was. <laughs> and he has 23 seconds left. Or I have 23 seconds left. So not good. Yeah, I might lose this game. No time, no increment, no delay. Horrible. Very bad technique. 
Okay, let's uh, go here. Taking my time still, crazy. All right, time to speed it up. 16 seconds, that's not good. Let's see, can I infiltrate somehow? I don't see how. Gotta try. Let's see, 12 seconds, that's not good. Whoa, I tried to move and I couldn't. I'm too slow and too old. Okay. Um, bishop here, I guess. Keep his king trap some more. Let's try to play bishop g2, mate. Eight seconds. Okay, he hung his rook. We'll Pre-move. Six seconds. And it looks like I'm going to do it. And you can't stop mate in one. Nope. Well, that was lucky <laughs> with uh, six seconds left. Okay, so a very suspicious game. All right. Um, well, those were three minutes. Let's just play three minutes a day. That way it's all three minutes. That seems like an interesting thing to do. This guy wants to play three minutes. He's 2,200. So you guys will complain less. You guys like when I play the higher rated players. Um, I'm a Kero Khan mood for some reason. I don't know. Uh, 16 spectators. That's pretty good. Thanks for the game. Good luck. Okay. Uh, the two knights. Let's get rid of one of them. <laughs> Let's see. Nick saying blew it. Ugh. Yeah, the truth hurts. I've lost more games than you've played. If I could text him that. I've never said that to him, even though I say it to him every day. Uh, I've lost more games than you've played. Exclam. Okay. Uh, D3, Knight of six. Still theory. It actually is still theory. Sometimes when I say it, it's true, but usually not. Let's see. What's this guy want? I'm 40 years old. Okay. Good for you. Bishop. I can play Bishop B4 also, but Bishop E7 was easier to play because it was only one square away. And I was on the phone texting, so I have to you know, speed it up. Let's play faster this game and get a huge time advantage. And then I can be losing, but it's okay. Sort of the reverse of last game. Uh, let's see. What am I doing? What do I want to do? Who am I? Where am I? So far, it looks like your typical two knights kind of, kind of game. Get these kind of positions a lot. Let's see. How do I attack his king? I don't. Let's play queen b6, I guess. Seems like a really long thing for a position that doesn't really warn a long thing. Just move the knight somewhere. This will be the greatest move ever. Well, my plan was to be way on the clock, and I have done that. I have 21 spectators. That's pretty good. Let's see, is my son watching or my student? Nope. Okay. Yeah, this is a long time to think for a three-minute game. Strange. Some guys get nervous when they're playing a Grandmaster, and they play slow and careful, and then they lose on time. So... You got you to play your game no matter who you're playing. Yeah, this you can't think this long in a three-minute game. So even if he gets a winning position the next 10 moves, he's going to have 30 seconds to win it. Oh, reconnecting. I kicked off the internet. Whoa. Oh, am I off the internet? Hmm. All right, disconnect. All right, so that was uh, strange because it said I was off the internet. So I was talking and you guys couldn't hear me. I wonder what happened there. I wonder like what's going to happen when the video comes out. Like if you'll just see the position and there's no noise or what, or there's just totally blank. I don't know. I've never had the internet totally mess up like that during a game. So that was very strange. I was confused as to why my opponent was playing so slowly, but it turns out that I had an internet issue, it says. I've never had that on leeches during a game where I got kicked off, especially not during a video. So I'm not sure like during the video what you're going to see. Um, I'm recording it, so I don't need the internet to record. So it should just record like what I saw 
And I wonder if you can hear me. Yeah, you can still hear me. Yeah, so it shouldn't affect the recording at all if I'm right. Well, I don't know how life works, so who knows. Okay, I got to play really fast. I was saying how fast I was playing. I was ahead on the clock. And then like my clock was running. I thought his clock was running because I didn't realize like, I got kicked off the internet. So that's pretty funny. Okay, well, hopefully um, things will get back to normal soon. I'm going to play 984 and made him. I'll never see that. Yes. Um, yeah, now when anybody thinks a so long time, I'm going to be confused. Like maybe they, they're on the internet or they're not. Uh, knight a4, knight b3. Um, now let's play a5, I guess. Leave his knight hanging there for a while. So I have some discoveries and push my pawn up, etc. Okay, so I position's not good, but I've gained some of my time back the last like 30 seconds. Been playing super fast. Okay, double pawns aren't going to be good. Probably should take with a c pawn so that he has more pawns in front of his king. A takes b3 is not a good move. It's hard to take with a C pawn because you're taught to take towards the center. But often in these Sicilians, when we're mating each other, which this sort of reminds me of, I don't have the open C file. When you see taking on B3, which I do a lot, you should play C takes. And nobody ever plays C takes. So, okay, now I have more time somehow. That's crazy. Yeah, knight B3 wasn't good and, and A takes B3 wasn't good. So I think I'm better now because I have an attack and he doesn't. And the number of pawns doesn't really matter. Although I'm getting worried he's been thinking for 20 seconds and then maybe my clock's running. Okay, B4, I guess I'll take it. I could also play A3. They both look good. But yeah, with the time situation, even if I'm losing on the board, I should win now. Unless I get kicked off the internet again, then, then I'm in trouble. Um, A3 looks good. Yeah, this looks really bad for him. Time to get this rook over to the A file. Rawr. Let's see, should I take first? Um, let's just go here because I don't want to lose on time. Yeah. And yeah, he's not, his pieces aren't in good shape to attack me. Let's see, queen eight, queen c2. I'll just say that loses immediately to that and then he did it, so yeah. Yeah, I have a lot of queens. I have more queens than you do. All right. And, um, and he let his time run out. Okay, very suspicious game, especially my time. I have 24 challenge as well. I'm just going to play three minutes. That way the whole video is three minutes. So that's sort of funny. Okay, this guy's Poco Loco. And I like the group Poco. So as does my friend Dave. Um, so let's listen to Poco, as does my mom. Although I don't know if he knows the group Poco because they're not a very well-known group. But uh, good luck. Okay. I'm winning on the clock. But now I'm always worried that my clock is running and I don't know it. Mr. Ben Feingold, well, that's, that's Grandmaster Mr. Ben Feingold. If I could spell Feingold right, this would be funny. Okay, C4, an explosive move. Um, let's see. I lost a lot of time typing that, but he lost time typing what he typed. So, uh, advantage me. Yes. Let's see, anybody texting me or calling me or threatening me? It's okay if they threaten me because the threat is stronger than the execution. Let's see, that's all pretty boring. Um, let's see, G6. This is not real. No. Uh, this is not real. Uh, I don't know what to say to that. This is not real. What can I do? Um, they are real and they are spectacular. So I'll do that. Okay, just a second. That was funny. Somebody came to the door, so I had to answer it. Okay. Um, you are I best chess player. What? Oh, my? Wait, what? 
Even when he corrects his English, I don't understand it. Okay, so I'll have to play really fast because I lost 40 seconds. Uh, I'm telling them we're closed. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see there. Castles, etc. Go, Ben. This will be my funniest video. I lost the internet in the middle of the video. I'm not sure what's going to happen. And then I left for 30 seconds because somebody came to the door. So, yeah, tough over here. Let's see. Knight e2 winning his queen. Let's play b5. He might take with a knight. Then I can win his queen. It'll be great. What's his ring? 1908? Eh, 50 50. Okay. Anyone get the Seinfeld reference? Real and spectacular? No. Knight takes. I can't win by force if you play the right move. Well, these things happen. Let's see. A6. Kicking you out. I've been kicked out of better places. Attacks my rook. Okay. That's probably a good move because he has knight takes d6. So I guess we'll play d5. Knight d6. Looks like I'm getting my pawn back. That's good. So yeah, that e5, knight d6 stuff wasn't, didn't work out well for him. Because his e-pawn is hanging, so that's not good. Okay, so you can play c5 or knight takes c8. Um, I think I'm better after both. Because his pieces on the queen on c1, rook on a1 are sort of funny. I got this action over here. Okay, that's a good move. Um, how do I get my knight somewhere good? I don't. Darn. Um, all right, put it in H. That way if Ginger GM is watching, he'll be happy. And I'm ahead on the clock for the first time. Uh, let's see, bishop g7 or move my rook? I don't know. I hate them both. Well, I tripled on the e-file. That should be good enough for a win. Knife f5. It's the wrong knife, but I'll take it. You call that a knife? That's not a knife. Maybe it is. Uh, retreat like a Frenchman. Now we can do this. There's no stopping it. Okay, I'm still ahead on the clock. That's good. Go, Ben. Leave your queen here forever. Hey, I just told you leave your queen here forever. I think he's going to lose his bishop. I don't think he has enough squares. They could take my pawn with check. Yeah, probably I should have prefaced it with this. Okay, whatever. A piece is a piece. Uh, maybe he can do some tricky thing to escape, like bishop h4. And I can't play g4 because I have knight h4. I think I'm winning a piece. but Okay, he has compensation because I might be losing some pawns. But my compensation is I have twice as much time. f4, I'll take that. Take that. Gave me the g e3 square. And the, this pawn's hanging. This is attacked. This... Okay, so now I'm a piece for a pawn. Excellent. And there's basically no compensation. My net on e3 is really good. And I'm going to win on time soon. Also good. And maybe I'll checkmate him while well, I'll take his queen. Okay. All right, so that game finished better than it started. Yay, opposite color bishops, but I'm still winning. Okay, one more game. We'll make it three minutes. Uh, let's see. Club or Creed has to be Ben Simon. So I'll play him. We talked about this earlier. The rating is similar and he's a big Rocky fan. So if it's Ben Simon, I'm playing him. Could be anybody. Okay. Or could just be a Rocky fan who has the same rating as Ben Simon. Okay. He's not playing. Uh-oh. Abort. Okay. Uh, it's not the first time I've said abort and Ben Simon in the same sentence. Serial chiller. Okay. 1796. All right. I guess we're going to play you. All right. Serial chiller. E4. No more Ben Simon. Although that might not have been Ben Simon. I don't know. Okay. This guy's not playing either. Man, I'm having a tough time here. Am I off the internet? What world is this? No. All right. A little abort your game too. Every game is aborted. That's a good good video I'm making here. Um, Master Fowler. Okay. I'll just I play e4 for the third time. He can claim a draw now. Okay, Sicilian. Um, we'll play my delayed c3 like I like to do. And then maybe he'll take this and lose a piece. Oh, it's a mouse slip. It should be two. Oh no. Okay, now he knows the theory. Knight c6. Okay. And knight takes e4 also loses a piece to d5. 
queen a4 check is the trick. Now, this is the variation if he takes, which he didn't, where I sacrificed three pawns, but um, that didn't happen. Okay, so this is just better for white because I have a better center than he does. White's slightly better here. A little bit more space. Master with a 1700 rating. Hmm, a little pretentious. E5, I'll take that. What's, what's the point of giving a pawn away? I don't get it. I wonder why I did that. Hmm. Okay, I'm up a pawn. It's a center pawn. And otherwise, this position's okay. Bishop c6. And then I might have to play f3 at some point, breaking my rule, weakening my diagonal. No, anything but that. Um, and knight d5 seems to lose a pawn. Maybe bishop f3 and then knight d5. Maybe that makes sense. Because bishop f3 is really silly. But if I can play knight d5, that's less silly. Okay, so it looks like just a matter of technique. Pretty happy with the way things are going. I like bishop f3 now. And so far, so good. Let's see. Where's his bishop going? I don't know. Maybe I can go here and escort my pawn in. Seems like a good idea. And we'll do this. And we'll do something good, either to g4, or b7, depending on where he moves his rook. Could be g4 this time. Could be either one. They're both good. Bishop attacking my rook. Well, that's not nice. I'm trying to do stuff over here. I guess I can go here. Then he plays rook a7, though. Hmm. No reason to be unneedlessly complicated. Uh, I don't know, c2, c3, c5? Oh, c5. I just randomly kept moving my rook up until I found a better square. Attacking his bishop. Okay, and also I got bishop g4, bishop b7, and time situation is equal. I have lift for my king. He does not have lift. Okay, I he guess he didn't see his bishop was attacked, I guess. That was strange. He attacked my rook, so when I moved it away, he wasn't suspicious that I was attacking something because he knew I would move my rook. This is a common blunder you people at home make, is your opponent makes a move you expect, so you're not thinking there's any threats. Okay, you guys always trade when you're ahead. That's why you're you and I'm me. I play bishop g4 when I'm ahead, and I'm like, ha-ha, your rook's trapped. Never trade. Rawr. Also, bishop takes c6 would have been good. So everything wins. So it looks like I'm going to win, win every game today, if I remember correctly. I think I went 5-0. and oh. And um, yeah, I got to prepare my lessons. I have a student coming in 45 minutes. Um, never play f6. So now we're going to play magician. Oh, I thought he'd take my rook. I was going to take all of his pieces, but he didn't let me. Okay, he stopped my joke right in the middle. I'll still make his pieces disappear. Oh no, my b pawn. And the Academy Award goes to me. Bam. Okay, if you're under the age of 18, turn away. Because this is going to be rated uh, B for Ben being brutal. This is rated T for the truth hurts. Bishop D6, X clam. Get your engines out. Tell me how good Bishop D6 was. The truth hurts. I'll pre move King takes H1. What? He didn't play Rook H1, the best move? Okay, so that was pretty cool. I just played three minute. I had a couple of games aborted, and I think I won five games. Might have won four. I don't know. Well played, Master. Master? Grandmaster. Rawr. Rawr. Okay, I put that guy in his place. All right, that's the video today. Um, if you're up tonight on the internet, obviously, um, you can watch the Pro Chess League. Uh, me and David Proust are doing commentary for the Western Division, Pacific Division. There's teams from Australia, China, California, Texas, uh, Seattle, and there's probably another team I can't think of. Or maybe not. There's two teams in Texas. There's three teams in California, I think. There's a team in Australia, a team in China, a team in Seattle. And maybe there's one more team. I have a good memory. Um... I don't think Hikaru is playing tonight, although he might, because he played for Seattle during the last, he was playing in Gibraltar, and he's still playing in Gibraltar, and he's tied for first, I think, so there's only like a round left, so he probably doesn't want to play for the Pro Chess League, he might. Um, I think China's changing their lineup a little bit, so there we go. All right, see you guys later. Bye. ATLChessClub.com slash donate. Trump's on!